Hello and welcome back to Ultimate Marble Racing Season 1. It is race 5 and we are here at the Honey Dome once again. This is one of our own Boer's creations. So no pressure on Boer. See that in the chat today. No pressure at all in this race. So one of our more tame tracks. Shouldn't see too many DNFs here today. Uh, sort of a simple race styled circuit uh, based on, I'm pretty sure, one of the uh, Jelly's Marble runs, uh, the JMR tracks. So, quite a sleek style, not many areas to throw anyone off unless they go a bit too hard into any corners, you never know. We always see someone going off in these races. And a big ladder from the end back to the start. So with these tracks, because of the way the start and the finish are, the fastest lap will usually end up happening on the very first lap. I thought about how I'd deal with that. I just thought, you just have to be the quickest on lap one. Simple as. If you want that fastest lap, get around that first lap as quick as possible. Because if you can get around that first lap the fastest, you are guaranteed that fastest lap all the way to the end. Then all you have to do is hold your spot in the top 20 to secure that extra bonus point. If you drop out of the top 20 and out of the points, then that fastest lap point will go to nobody. Uh, Boris suggests we could remove the finish line so the finish line is actually at the start. See, I don't really like the finish line being just after the ladder because it, it can mean a lot of people just end up in a row. A bit like our first race of the season. I'm thinking about possibly making some adjustments to that in the future. But maybe what we could do for future tracks like this is put the start down at the bottom uh, somewhere back here on the straight maybe so it's a race down to the ladder the ladder will then shuffle quite a few of the positions around but usually the ones at the front will get onto the first row but they will be side by side and then they go off the ladder and race down the first straight that could be a good way of doing it so we may look into that for the future tracks like this but for this one it's all going to be about that first lap if you want them points first lap and top 20 so let's get all the races in here freeze the time up to take a look at the grid so again reverse grid of the last results so we're starting on the front row so zero pressure whatsoever no pressure at all Uh, so as we go through the grid, we see what order everyone will be starting in. Barto is also in the chat with us today, starting almost on the back row here, um, after a decent result in the sewer speedway. We're saying they're going to be going for the fastest lap. You do have a good inside lane here, so depending on how you get the bounce off that first corner, could very well be possible. But then also I'd say Magic or Pesky Bird have a decent line to ride that corner around for a bit of speed. So we shall see. So let's get things going. Is everyone clapping their hands in the chat as we are away. So we're looking for that inside line. Bad bounce, so Stanky's going to push their way through. So Stanky's taking the lead here, with Stormy just behind. Cheese taking a different route to them, slowing down quite a bit. Maybe get the inside line here though, they do. Ryder's going to come past though with a bit more momentum. So go into the first hairpin. Stanky's going to block out Ryder. Boyer has dropped quite far back through the field. So Stanky currently leading, Ryder, Stormy and TJ close together. TJ taking a position from Stormy there, now Cheese is joining in in that battle. So Stanky currently looking strong for the fastest lap. Followed by Ryder, TJ, Stormy and Cheese. Barto gaining quite a few positions in the start there. 
So the first section of this track already mixing around the positions. As it looks like Stormy went for an overtake there, but Ryder managed to block them out. King Barto pushing through for some extra spots there. Demon also trying to force their way through, but getting blocked out again. Everyone is very much bumped together, but it looks like Ryder's going to get the run down to the ladder first. And potentially the fastest lap secured by Ryder. So everyone piles into the ladder. So now Ryder just needs to hold on to a top 20th spot to secure that extra point. Uh, Wood coming in at the back. So a bad start for Wood, but maybe the ladder look could help out here. So as we speed things up a little bit onto the ladder, Wood managing to gain a few spots there. Demon dropping quite a few positions from where they were. Boer unfortunately dropped a few spots as well in that lap. But we have Ryder and TJ side by side at the top of the ladder. So as we make our way up to the top. And see what happens here. As Ryder and TJ have dropped off. Go into the corner side by side. Ryder's going to take the edge here. Both taking the right side. Then we have Stanky coming through. Barto just behind taking the inside lane. That's going to gain that spot. Muffin getting past James. Mini getting past Jane, James. Big bumps on the hairpin as everyone starts to group together. Boer goes for an outside route and actually gets a few spots gained there. So it's Ryder, TJ, Muffin, Barto to make the top four. Everyone's still fairly grouped together. So there's still a chance to gain some positions if you are further back currently. So big battle going on for first here. Even bigger battle going on a bit further back. They make their way down to the ladder once again. Can Ryder get on straight away? No, it's going to be a bounce. So TJ is going to sneak in there and so is Stanky. Ryder getting another bad bounce, getting forced out by Barto. As we see Cheese fall off with a bad impact there, so does Diamond Sword. So this left side, as we saw in the preseason, we lost. I can't remember who it was, but we lost one off the side here. This time we have lost two. So you got to be careful on that left side with the bounces. So we see Tomix Comics has joined the chat. First time chatter. A bit late to the party, but hello. Hello and welcome to the race. Glad you could make it. Yeah, Boer saying F for cheese. Yep, yeah, indeed. And for Diamond Swords. That'll be a DNF for both of them today. Two in a row for Cheese, yes. Cheese, of course, DNFing out of Sewer Speedway, our last track. And then same again today. So it's not going well for Cheese at the moment. See Stanky and TJ dropping off side by side. It's a drag race down to the first corner here. TJ taking the inside line, a good bounce. We'll secure first for them. Barto losing a few spots again from that ladder release. Boyer gaining positions back after a not so good first lap. So you see Mini in third. Side effects bumping with Boyer, but Boyer's going to take that fourth spot. Side effects turning just behind them. We have Muffin, Shax, Ryder and Stormy. Stormy losing a bit of speed there. Barto getting overtaken by Space Comet. See everyone coming around the hairpin area. Wood and Carol trailing a bit this race. It's clearly not the track for them. So back up at the front, TJ is making their way down to the ladder where they get smooth entry almost, but with that rebound, I mean Stanky's going to catch up. But Stanky misses the entrance there, so... 
TJ will be securing the first spot on the ladder. Then Stanky and Mini side by side. James jumping onto the ladder there. T Dub trying to do the same, but just missing out and is going to lose a few spots because of it. So Boyer, Muffin, and James getting side by side on that part of the ladder. So everyone else is making their way on. T Dub losing quite a few spots there. Then Crimson, Cutsy, and Budo are now side by side with Wood at the bottom of the ladder. So as they make their way up again, we'll do a quick check. They haven't lost anyone. Carol way down at the moment. A really bad lap by Carol. Still only the two DNFs of Diamond Swords and Cheese. So we head back up to the top of the ladder on lap four. TJ releasing from the ladder. Mini and Stanky dropping down opposite sides here. So Mini will get a bounce into the corner. Stanky's going to take the inside route, which line is going to be better. Mini carrying a bit more momentum into it, but Stanky does just manage to hold off to keep going in first, well, taking first now from TJ. But TJ gets the inside line on the S bend. We'll take that position back. TJ will also get the better run around the hairpin whereas Stanky and Mini will bounce wide. And just behind we have Muffin, Boer and James. James squeezing their way past both Muffin and Boer to take them spots. Moving up to fourth. Barto taking the inside line there, blocking Nick and Alice. So TJ in the lead, Stanky in second, Mini in third, James in fourth, Boy in fifth, Muff in sixth, Shax seventh, Side Effects eighth, Space Comet ninth, Stormy tenth, Ryder with the fastest lap in eleventh, so still in a good enough position to hold that fastest lap point. Kutsi went for a lunge there past Wood but didn't quite make it, losing a bit of time. Wood trying to go on Demon. Demon also losing some time here. And Carol at the back not having a good time. So back up towards the front. TJ is already on the ladder. Stanky and Mini have secured their positions. It's a race down between this pack here. Shaxx with a bad rebound. Delaying them. Which means side effects. Muffin, Stormy, Space Comet and James will jump on together. Onto the ladder. Boy, dropping some places there. Actually saying in the chat, you're 10th suddenly. Well, now you're 11th. But you are side by side with a few people here. So everyone is now fighting to get onto the ladder at the back. Cutsy and Crimson are going to miss out on that entrance there. They're now on. As we see Carol coming down. Getting a bounce just to make things worse. Another bounce and onto the ladder. As we are now halfway through today's race. So TJ looking strong so far. It'll be a race between Stanky and Mini on the inside lane on the exit of this ladder. As we come up to the top. TJ is going to be taking the outside lane here. Bouncing in. Stanky and Mini side by side. Looks like Stanky is going to get the better release here. And making it through into the lane split with ease. Side effect with a bit of a bounce, losing some time. Means Muffin is going to take the inside route and take fourth. Side effects, James. Space Comet and Stormy all going down that inside lane. Comet with the better launch. So a good bounce there. Really good by Space Comet. Pushing them up to fifth. So everyone else is starting to come through now. So everyone's still relatively grouped up. So a lot could happen with just one bad ladder bounce.
Carol's still towards the back, trying to make some time up on the rest of the pack. So quite a bit of a battle here going on between Jake, Shady, School of Thugs, Logan, Skyline and Demon. Boyer and Magic Monkey fighting for positions, Nick and T-Dub just behind. So they come down to the ladder now. Boyer hopping straight on a very good jump on the ladder this time for Boyer. As TJ is gaining time away in first, Muffin securing the second spot there, that is just what they need. Then we have quite a few people here grouped up fighting for third. King Bato on their own on the ladder. And Carol still way down. At this point it's looking like a potential race over for Carol. I don't think there's much hope of getting up into the points. As we have moved on to lap 6, so TJ, good run down into the first corner. Muffin taking the inside line as well. Smooth bounces as there's a race just behind. Stanky coming out best in that race. Getting the inside line as well. Side effects just in time. Stormy will be racing with James down to the hairpin, but James will get a bounce off the wall. So Stormy will slide through. Mini getting two positions gained there as well. Mini then getting overtaken by Comet and Barto losing that two position gain. Shaq's tailing just behind with James, Pesky Bird and Alice hot on each other's tails. Then we've got Boer, Space Egg and Nick. Everyone's still fairly close together. Wood with a few position gains just in front of Demon. Both hot on the tail of Logan. Bad Bounce is going to slow them down. School of Thugs might be able to come through and take a position. They do. Demon also getting past Wood there. Demon getting past Logan. Wood with a bit of a rough bounce going through the inside. To head down to the ladder. Ryder currently in 16th. Still the fastest lap. But it's going to have to make sure they stay consistent here. As we've lost James. James has gone off. So that will be a DNF for James. They'll be losing that 13th spot. And losing their chance for points on this race. So TJ. Not as far ahead this time. Stanky and, Muffy not f uh, Stanky and Muffin not too far behind. <clears throat> so there is a chance for one of them to take that top spot away from TJ. So TJ, inside line once again. Stanky and Muffin side by side, racing down to the corner. Stanky's going to get the better bounce there, blocking Muffin out. But Muffin's going to try and come back for more. So they take two different routes. So Muffin will get the inside lane bounce here, taking second place from Stanky. And making some time on TJ. So we then see Stormy coming around, hitting Stanky. Just in time, just behind. Mini side effects and Pesky Bird. Pesky Bird gaining some spots there. Barto going around the outside, getting past Shax. Shax losing a lot of time with that bounce. Alice is going to get pushed in front of them. So TJ breaking away. Muffin breaking away in second as well. So we see Stormy stanking just in time, fighting for third. And we have Pesky Bird side effects and Mini. Space Comet being gained by Barto. Riders moved up to 13th after hearing what I was saying about the fastest lap point. So Skyline currently in our 20th spot. Over here, the last spot in the points. Fighting with Shady. Shady now in the 20th spot. So Skyline just dropping out of the points. So it's a race as Crimson's coming through quite quick and so is Tida, but a big bounce by both of them means that Skyline will take that spot on the ladder. Wood trying to jump in there but not quite making it. Shona with a rough bounce, same as Akane. Kutsi getting on. 
Bado bouncing way back. That's going to be very costly. So now on the ladder. And Carol now jumping on. Gaining a little bit of time. But still a lot more to make up. So we have Muffin and TJ now side by side. Stormy in third. Just in time and Stanky fighting for fourth off the ladder. So TJ and Muffin racing down towards the first corner. Muffin getting the better line there. Going to take first away from TJ. Both of them taking the inside line down here, which will be good for the runaway. So is Stormy. Stanky with a bounce is going around the outside route. Which is usually the slower route to take, just in time. And side effects taking positions away from Stanky there. Pesky Bird, if they get a good line here, may be able to, but hit Stanky instead. Mini with a bad bounce as well. Shax with a really bad bounce. Losing a position to Ryder. And Shax, by the looks of things. So just in time in fourth, side effects fifth, Stanky sixth. Then there's a big group for the rest of the top ten, fighting for positions. So it looks like Demon is making some time, so is Wood from the bad starts they've had. But there's still quite a bit more to do to get into the top 20. Boy, just hanging on to the top 20. No, getting passed by Skyline. So Skyline now on the last point position. Demon trying to look to overtake Boer, but it's not going to happen. It'll be very crucial about how they enter this ladder point here. So Skyline with a big rebound. Boer trying to hop on. Can Boer secure the ladder? They do. Crimson also flying in onto the ladder. So Logan with a big jump there. Glanced away slightly there. I don't know how he got that air, but Logan leaping onto the ladder with some magic there. There's a new trick for the rest to learn. So I think that means Boer, Logan and Crimson are now fighting for that final point position of 20th. And they do have Skyline, T-Dub, Demon and Wood close behind. As we are on lap 9 of 10. So TJ back in the lead again. We'll be coming off the ladder first. So as TJ drops down, taking the inside line, Muffin is going to follow with the same line. Stormy also taking the inside line, just in time heading for the middle route. Then it'll be side effects also dropping down the middle line. See what happens between Stormy and just in time here. Stormy getting the better line, just in time, still not far behind. And also just in time, we'll be taking the better route here. And without the bounce, we'll be carrying a lot more speed. So just in time, taking third here. Muffin gaining on TJ. Side effects following the same route as Stormy. Big battle going on between TJ and Muffin here. Looks like TJ is going to keep hold of that first position though. Good breakaway there on the exit. Pesky Bird forcing their way in front of Stanky. So we have Mini trying to get past Jake, but not succeeding. Then Shax, Nick, Spacing, and Ryder not far behind. Boer getting blocked out by Crimson there. Andrew trying to get through, but Shady blocking. Logan now hot on the tail of Boer. Boer just in the points here in 20th position. Then we have Magic, Skyline, Wood, Demon, T-Dub, Mario, and School of Thugs. So back down to the front. TJ has gained some time here with a good entrance onto the ladder. Muffin currently securing second, just in time securing third as we have gone on to our final lap of the race. So Wood says Silver Ball is such bad luck. Yeah, it's not going too well on these last few races. Um, 
Boyle got timed out of the chat. I'm not entirely sure why. <laughs> I must have missed something there. So let's take a look back and see Carol still trailing behind. I think this is pretty much race over for Carol. I think they will be remaining at the back for the rest of this race. So as we're going into the final lap, TJ has got a very good uh, time ahead, a good gap back to second. So if TJ does a clean lap here, this could be a win. Same goes with Muffin and Just In Time. Uh, it's quite close between them, but if Muffin doesn't make any mistakes, they could hold second and Just In Time could hold third. So this lap is going to be about getting a clean run all the way through. Ryder still with the fastest lap in 13th, so still securing that point. It's TJ leaving the ladder now. Taking the inside line once again. A good bounce. Muffin also taking the inside line. Seems to be the preferred line by these front runners here. TJ getting the fast route through here as well. Muffin's going to be taking the outside line. Which means just in time could gain a spot here using the inside route. But Muffin with a very clean exit. I don't think it's going to happen. A lot of jumping around in the 10th position here. Please, a big fight going on there. Just in time, just getting past Muffin there. Though just in time, we'll be taking second place. The better exit on that hairpin. TJ's flying away in first. Got Stormy in fourth. Side effects fifth. Alice sixth. Stanky seventh. Pesky Bird eighth. So everyone's still bunched up here together as TJ is coming down to the final part and takes first place in today's race. Uh, Boyer got muted because they posted a link to the clip of Logan jumping. That was close for a second there, just in time coming through in second, Stormy third, Stormy actually taking third, Muffin fourth. Then Alice securing 5th, Side Effect 6th, Stanky 7th, Pesky Bird 8th, Space Comet 9th, Jake 10th, Mini 11th, Ryder 12th and securing that fastest lap point, Nick 13th, Shady 14th, Boer 15th, Space Egg 16th, Shax 17th, Bartow 18th, Andrew 19th and Logan in 20th to make the point positions. So very close down to the end there, everyone's very grouped up. Uh, the mute was done automatically on Boer. There is an auto muting system on Twitch and clearly there's links that it doesn't like even though it's a link to its own site which is a bit of an odd one. Um, I might have to have a look into the moderation settings about the posting links. Uh, so as we wait for the timer to count down, we'll view our winner. So, Barto, where did Barto go? Where did you finish? If they're asking in the chat. Barto is right here. Finished 18th. Boer 15th, top half of the grid. It is points. And points matter. So TJ taking the win. I think we only had three DNFs here. It's a bit calmer than the last race. So this is our leaderboard. Demon and James tied with 63 at the top. Jake now one point behind in third. Carol dropping to fourth. Then just in time, fifth, drawing with Stormy. Then Crimson in seventh. Akane and TJ tied for eighth with 41 points. And Kutsi with 39 points in tenth, rounding out the top ten. Then below that we have Shax, Shady, Muffin, Stanky, Ryder, Andrew, Nick, Mini, Diamond Swords, 
Alice, Side Effects, Budo, Cheese, Pesky Bird, and School of Thugs. So still fairly close. We are only five races in. About not even a quarter of the way through yet. Of our 22 races. So it's still all to play for. Still lots of points up for grabs. Remember it's 30 points for a win. So a quick look at the chat. I would say in this way they were 10th on race 4. So a bit of a drop there. After this race. Barto also dropping out of the top 25 unfortunately. Boy has also been pushed out of the top 25. So sad times in the chat today. But maybe any of you could get some big points in the next race and push your way back up into the top 25. Like I say, all to play for, lots of points up for grabs this season. You can easily move yourself up the board with a good strong race. Because our next race is actually going to be on the Oval Speedway and this is going to be our first elimination race. So the elimination races being races that have a 50% DNF rate or more consistently in testing. So in these ones, a DNF will not eliminate your points. In a, in a normal race, if you finish top 20 but DNF, your points are void. You don't get them. Whereas in an elimination race, it's about surviving the longest. If you do DNF in the top 20, that's expected. You, you'll still get your points. But it's going to be about survivability. So this is for tracks that have a high DNF rate or that are purposely built as survival tracks. So Oval Speedway, a bit of a survival track, although not as much as Total Extermination, which is one to look forward to later in the season, about midway. Uh, but yeah, Oval Speedway, quite a high DNF rate on it. Quite high paced. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there and who will be able to hang on for the longest and try and take some big points. So I look forward to that. And that'll be it for today's stream. Uh, make sure to go check out the YouTube channel, Ultimate Marble Racing. Go re-watch any of the videos, re-watch any of the moments you've missed. Or if you just want to watch them again, hit subscribe over there, drop a like on any of the videos you you've enjoyed that really helped the channel out a lot and help, help me out if you're watching this on youtube head over to twitch watch this live join in on the live chat and get involved in the races with your own racer and of course check out the discord over there. there's a lot of race discussion uh, you can get, uh, get into a team if you're following on twitch so you can get a skin for your marble that you're representing and yeah you can represent a team and chat with your team over there. And then also check out the other socials. We also have Instagram and TikTok currently. So that'll be it for today's race. An interesting race. Some big changes on the leaderboard. And I look forward to the next race. So I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you all next time. <laughs>